Hi everybody, welcome back to the next in my series of updated for 2024 tutorials, beginner's guides on how to use the amazing Daisy Editor Mod by Inclement Dab. Now before we get started, I just want to mention the fact that remember in the description below this video, you'll find a link to a playlist that has all these videos on. So if this one isn't in particular what you're interested in, you might find one that is. And also you'll find a next video link and a previous video link so you can work through these bite-sized chunks um, at your own pace. So in this video, I want to look at um, essential resources that you'll find very, very useful when you start editing your files with the Daisy Editor mod. Now, of course, there's plenty of other resources out there as well, but these are kind of some of the basics. And what I'll do in the description below this video, I'll put links to all of these things as well. So starting off, the amazing Notepad++. So when you're editing files, um, you'll often want to come and have a look at them. So, for example, here's a .json. And the beauty with Notepad++ is it has lots of powerful features, but one of the most useful ones is the fact that it color codes stuff. So it may be a text editor, but unlike Notepad, it color codes things. So sometimes you can spot mistakes faster than you would otherwise. So highly recommended. The Daisy official Bohemian Interactive GitHub repository that has the vanilla files in it. So at some point, as you're messing around with Daisy Editor, you go, you're probably going to be edit. Well, you're definitely going to be editing things like your CFG gameplay.json. You're going to be editing your map group pos, maybe your map group proto, um, and various other files. And you may well make a backup, but you still might need to revert to a vanilla file. So if you come here and you click on code, click on download zip, and you'll get the latest vanilla files. You'll probably be looking at um, daisy offline.enoch for Livonia and Chernus Plus for Chernus, but this is a link that should really be in your bookmarks anyway. It is so useful to have. Now, I highly recommend, these are all highly recommended, aren't they, that when you start editing um, on the daisy editor mod and you start creating custom structures and custom builds that you have a local uh, daisy server running on your computer the reason for this is that before you upload your builds to a community server whether that be for pc or console you should really test it and the fastest way to do this is on a local server so if you didn't know already what you can do is if you've got a PC that can run DayZ, it can run a local server as well. So instead of you connecting to a remote server on the internet somewhere, you have that server running on your PC, you fire up DayZ, and DayZ will just link to that server. Um, and therefore you can have your builds on there, you can check them very, very, very quickly. And I'll put a link to an instruction on how to do that. Plus, I'll put a link on how to instruct, how to install admin tools as well. Because not only do you want your build to be on that local server so you can take a look at it, but you probably want your admin tools just to make sure everything's working all right as well. With admin, admin tools, you can easily jump around the map. Um, you can check things like whether stuff has spawned in or not. Lots of different tools. Vanilla++ Plus Plus is a great one. Fairly easy to install. And again, there's a link in the description below this video. Now, whenever you edit an XML file, a .xml, or you edit a .json file, you should really validate it afterwards just to make sure you haven't made any spelling mistakes. And trust me, doesn't matter how careful you are, at some point you will make a spelling mistake, you'll do a copy and paste and you'll miss a little bit out, or you'll add a bit in that you shouldn't have done. Um, and these will catch many of those mistakes and save you an awful lot of time i cannot tell you the number of times that i've made mistakes or i've had messages from people who said i'm pulling my hair out what have i done wrong and i sometimes i finally crack and say okay send me the file and i have and i'll have a look at it and often it's 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 really what we would call a syntax error so it's not really you haven't spelt something wrong but maybe you've got an extra exclama an extra inverted comma or you've got an extra semicolon somewhere where it shouldn't be or um, you've missed one out. And this is where JSON validators and XML validators can help you um, find some of these errors and hopefully fix them as well. Daisy Editor itself has its own wiki. 
so you can come in here um, I'm not quite sure when the last time it was updated but it's got lots of useful information and also you can watch inclement dab from way back in 2020 the tutorial video he did when he released the editor um, now there's more features that are included in the editor now and some things are a little bit different for example when you fire up the editor you don't spawn in as a character straight away um, but lots of the other stuff is there because although the daisy editor is incredibly powerful it's not always that great of telling you in the editor the buttons you should be could be pressing and and different things like that so you know watch that video it's very very good i even watched it um chunks of it a few minutes ago and picked up some things that i didn't even didn't know about it um, and then we also have, you know, do a general YouTube search. So I'll do a YouTube, I'll, I'll put a link to this YouTube searches. Unfortunately, many of the videos that will appear will be mine. <laughs> so sorry about that, because I've done lots of videos about the Daisy Editor mod over the years. But some of them might be useful, because what I try and do is often if someone asks me a question, I will then make a video about it. So it might even not even be something that I've come across. And they say, well, how do you do this? So I'll make a video about it. So, um... There's two videos that have got the same thing there, getting started and how to get started. Um, now, also, for even better advice, um, the uh, Daisy Editor team have their own Discord. And there's some really good FAQs um, that you can read through. Patch notes. Patch notes are really good to look at because then you can see where there's problems. Also, if you go into like the general chat, if lots of people are saying, well, it keeps crashing. It's probably not you. There's probably an update that needs to be doing. And remember, this mod is a passion project for Dab. You know, he, he has got other things he needs to be doing. And although this is so integral to the Daisy community, especially the console community, and allowing us to do these wonderful builds, you know, he has got other things he's got to do. And every time Daisy gets updated, it probably breaks something in the editor. So don't get upset about these things, but by all means, go over there and, and have a look. Um, you can ask questions as well, but remember, use the search function before you ask questions because somebody may well have already answered it. And um, being an admin uh, on a Discord where people keep asking the same question, where the answer is, you know, a couple of pages back up um, in the Discord can get a little bit frustrating. And that's why sometimes people can be a little short. And also, another great Discord to look at is Balshad's Discord. Now, Balshad's Discord, in general, is an amazing resource for modders, especially console models. Modders, so many different types of advice on lots of different things, not just the Daisy Editor. But he has things like lists of all the different names. Now, remember, we can't use builder items on console. We use static and land. And he's got lots of lists here of stuff that you can go through to give you an idea of what things are and you could look through them and also if you keep scrolling down they do have a collections of builds as well let's see if i can find them balshad share files balshad haunted lands man members xml shared files there we go so there's uh, there's boot there's um loot files and then we have the json files there we go so uh bridges so People have made lovely sort of things. So you you know, you know, may well find something and go, actually, that's exactly what I want. And to save you several hours of doing something, you could go in. Or maybe you can just go in to see how things work and get a little bit of inspiration. So there we go. The links to all of these things will be in the description below this video. Hopefully you'll find them helpful. If you think of other things that actually you do use an awful lot, when you're using Daisy Editor, let me know, um, and uh, maybe I'll pin the comment too. Okay, so if you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.